I know we are capable of loving each other and hating each other and I know that some make you feel guilty for both actions. I know that people suppress their negative sides. I know that these emotions do not go away, they remain hidden in the subconscious until they are released. Even if one tries to suppress these negative emotions, they will always rise to the surface because they are there and do not go away. Negative emotions take over the conscious mind and the mind transposes this into negative actions that harm another. I know that all people have the same emotions, fear, love, hate, happiness, etc. I also know that the reaction to these emotions is sparked by different circumstances from one individual to the other. Some hate one thing, but others love it. Some situations make people happy. The same situation can make another sad. This is why I fear that collective belief systems damage the individual mind. I know that when I stand in the night gazing towards the stars, those stars are part of me at that moment in time. My brain has helped to generate that image, thus the image is inside me. As such, I am one with the stars at that moment in time. The stars are inside me, within my consciousness. I know this is the same for everything I see and experience. This is why I know not to do harm to another, for I harm my consciousness at the same time. I know we all have different minds, no two are the same. I know that collective belief controls the mind, shatters a collective people. I know that one person's thoughts are not the same as the other. I know that all of nature is individual, no two trees of one species are the same. I know that everything, every planet, every star has different qualities. No two things in nature are the same. This is why I know that collective belief systems are not the truth. Man is bound by the forces of nature and the forces of the universe. Would you rather believe or know a thing? What bemuses me is that some people get angry because a person advocates knowing as opposed to belief. There is much more I know and there is much I don't know, but I will not build a belief around the things I do not know. I refuse to do this, it is dangerous to my free mind. Every vista, every sound, every smell, every taste, every shard of sharp anger, every shroud of comfort in love, every action one witnesses is experienced in the mind of the individual. The individual holds these experiences within their mental reality until their action releases them into physical reality. Thus we harbor great responsibility, for we can transpose love into hate or hate into love, peace into war or war into peace. Our minds can conjure the most heinous of acts or the most loving of actions. Are we individuals of peace, persons of war, persons of love, persons of hate? We are all these things. When the mind witnesses an act, we mould the resulting action into what we are at any given time. The greatest battle is the battle for the control of our minds, not only to control us, but for us to control those around us by what we do next, or led to believe what we should do next. One of the greatest personal battles is to control our own minds when external influences become our mind's reality. Does one continue another's hateful action? Does one ignore the olive branch of friendship? Sometimes nothing is the right thing to do. Sometimes action is the only thing to do. Our personal choice, our personal responsibility. We are truly responsible for our own actions, even if they are sired from another's thoughts. This is possibly one of our most important personal responsibilities, for what we do next always affects the other. Everything occurs in the mind. It is a fact that no one can deny. This I know.